Get ready for a thrilling journey at Recap Movie Club. Join us now as we unravel the secrets and hidden details of today's featured movie. Artist Lee Man and his girlfriend Yuan live in Vancouver. Yuan Man creates original works of art, and Lee Man is most interested in reproductions of paintings by famous artists. He is very talented in his work and can reproduce almost any painting to the smallest detail. However, his works are not popular with dealers and gallery organizers for exhibitions because they cannot exhibit fake paintings. One night, Lai comes home and hears Yuan's manager tell her that she must stop being with Lai if she wants to succeed. And Yuan in turn says that if he will not represent Lee, then such a manager she does not need. After working hard, they manage to get a place in an art exhibition. Many people like Yuan's work, but Lee's work is heavily criticized. One of the guests, named Artist, calls his paintings fake and Yuan is furious, pours his drink in his face and asks him to leave. Lee follows the man to apologize and learns that the whole thing was set up so they could meet in private. He says he recognizes Lee's talent, his fakes are praised for their quality. They go to a bar to socialize, and the artist says he has a job for Lee if he wants to change his life. After this meeting, Lee goes back to the gallery and burns his painting, satisfied with his decision. The next day he becomes the artist and agrees to work for him. When asked what paintings he wants to repeat, the artist shows him a hundred dollar bill. It turns out that he plans to make a bunch of fake bills that will be indistinguishable from the original. Since they can't just print them, the artist needs someone like Lee on the team. At first, Lee refuses since it's illegal, but when he realizes that he will be swimming in money, he accepts the offer. That same day, he returns home and sees Yuan leaving the house. She decided to leave him after a stunt he pulled at an art gallery that cost her a lot of money. Lee then joins the artist and his team on a private jet to Thailand. Lee still plans to bring Yuan back by making some money. The team consists of printing plate specialist, Uncle Shane, an expert in color theory, and two people in charge of security and sales. On the new 1996 US $100 bill, another version of Franklin's portrait is presented, enlarged by 50% allowing for more detail and line. But even with the highest resolution industrial printer, the picture would be blurry and inaccurate. Moreover, Franklin's collar is microprinted with the United States of America. An industrial printer would never be able to print that accurately. This is where Lee comes into play because he can draw the bill better than the printer. Second, the paper on the original bills turns the black ink of counterfeit detection pens yellow. This helps bank tellers identify the counterfeit. The artist will have to find a way to get similar paper within the next few weeks. Lee draws the $100 bill with absolute precision, not missing a single strike or line. Watermark and security thread. Another challenge is that they are going to use the Chinese drawing method for this, in which the real picture is placed between two papers that are pressed and the middle layer is highlighted. Next comes the printing process, which is handled by Uncle Shane. He makes a printing plate that applies the ink to within 10 thousandths of a millimeter. On the proofs, they see that there is no more effect, which means they are successful. The artist then finds a way to acquire the right paper, which is the main raw material for production. They travel to Eastern Europe to a company that manufactures telephone directories. It turns out that they use paper that is perfect for making telephone directories, which is perfect for making $100 bills. So they purchase a huge shipment of this paper, masquerading as a Chinese comic book company. After delivering the paper to their hideout, they immediately start making counterfeit bills. After six months of working with the artist, Lai returns to Vancouver to return Yuan's keys. But he doesn't want to see her and decides to leave the keys on the table. The artist thinks he is a coward for giving up so easily, and a fight ensues between them. Suddenly, the painter puts on a mask and pulls out a gun, and he and the group rob a policing car. And Lee finally realizes that his boss is a deranged man. We are then introduced to a counterfeit bill expert in the police force named Wing. He's called to Hong Kong from Canada because the police have been alerted to a sudden increase in counterfeit dollar bills around the world. Wing meets the oi of the Hong Kong police, Inspector Ho. They go on an undercover assignment and pose as customers looking to buy counterfeit money. After several meetings with multiple brokers, they are allowed to meet the artist at a party on a yacht. However, their hopes of catching the criminal are dashed when they learn that the artist has sent his brokers instead. They test Wing in several ways and find that he inspires confidence. One afternoon, Lee approaches the artist and declares that he no longer wants to be on his team. However, he promises to find a way to continue their business before he leaves. We are then shown how the team travels around the world and sells their money internationally. The profits are insanely high and so is the demand for their product. Then they get the highest offer from a Thai crime boss, a general. They arrive at his hideout for a business meeting but it turns out that the general killed the artist's father. 
so it's not about business, they've come to kill him. He asks Lee to activate the explosives in his jacket and seconds later a car explodes and a gunfight ensues all of the general's guards are killed, except for a counterfeit money expert named Sarah. She catches fire, but Lee saves her. After returning, Sarah is invited to join the team because of her expertise. Lee takes care of her, and a friendship develops between them. An artist gives her a fake passport with the last name Yuan in honor of Lee's ex-girlfriend. After this incident, the team takes a one-year hiatus. During this time, Lai and the artist return to Vancouver to meet Yuan and win her back. By this time, she has become a famous artist. However, things go wrong when they find out that she is engaged to her manager. In the following scenes, they sail on a yacht for a business meeting with police officer Wang. The artist makes inquiries about the client and learns his true identity. He also learns that the police were able to track them down because Uncle Yum broke the rules and bought the watch with fake money, and they decide to kill his family for this mistake. Uncle Yum begs them not to hurt his wife and children, but the artist shoots him. The team then meets Wing, who doesn't realize they know who he is. When they end up in a locked room, the artist asks Lee to kill Wing, but he refuses. He eventually has to do it himself to get Lee to overcome his fear of killing. The painter kidnaps Yuan and her fiancé. He gives Lee a gun and asks him to kill them, as it will be easier for him to kill people he hates. However, Lee again refuses. In a fit of anger, the artist himself kills her fiancé, and Lee saves Yuan. Sarah knows that Lee will be killed afterward. She remembers that he saved her life once long ago and attacks the rest of the team. In the ensuing gunfight, everyone is killed and Lai ends up shooting the artist. Afterward, Sarah takes him to a resort that the artist bought for them. They learn that he is still alive because the police never found his body. Lee learns that he is going to organize a wake in honor of his late husband. He suspects that the artist will be there and will try to kill her to get to him. Despite Sarah begging him not to go, he does it anyway. The painter kidnaps Yuan and her fiancé. He gives Lee a gun and asks him to kill them, as it will be easier for him to kill people he hates. However, Lee again refuses. In a fit of anger, the artist himself kills her fiancé, and Lee saves Yuan. Sarah knows that Lee will be killed afterward. She remembers that he saved her life once long ago and attacks the rest of the team. In the ensuing gunfight, everyone is killed and Lai ends up shooting the artist. Afterward, Sarah takes him to a resort that the artist bought for them. They learn that he is still alive because the police never found his body. Lee learns that he is going to organize a wake in honor of his late husband. He suspects that the artist will be there and will try to kill her to get to him. Despite Sarah begging him not to go, he does it anyway. It is then revealed that the policeman was the same person who helped bring Ho Bring Lee from Thailand to Hong Kong and Lee memorized his face. In the flashback, we are shown that Lee and the artist are the same person. Lee created artists in his imagination to escape from reality. Lee committed all the crimes. He killed Uncle Sheng and his family in a shootout. He was the one who killed Yuan's fiancé. And the shootout happened because of the conflict between them. Another shock occurs when it becomes clear that the girl who came to the police, K Lai, is not Yuan, but Sarah. She was so obsessed with Lai that she had plastic surgery because of the burns on her face. She came to save her lover, and they escaped from the hotel by killing the guards. In the next scene, we see the couple together in bed. Sarah is upset that she will always be a fake for Lee, to which Lee replies that the fake is often much better than the original. The next day they get on a boat and escape Hong Kong, but are surrounded by police on the way. And to end their torment, Sarah blows up the ship and they are killed. At the end of the movie, Inspector Ho approaches the real Yuan to inform her that her fiancé's killer is dead. Looking at Lee's picture, she recognizes him as her neighbor. It turns out that he had fantasized his relationship with Yuan, even though they were never together. This is where the movie ends.